Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to make a video about investment strategies that I implement in the highly volatile, highly risky altcoin market because I have had quite a few messages on Twitter about this requesting a video. So here it is. And I think the first step that I take before analysing the chart really is fundamental analysis because figuring out the coins that will survive the bear market despite whatever percentage drawdown will be the key in succeeding in the next market cycle, in my opinion anyway. 90% of the crypto market, the thousand, the thousand plus coins, in my opinion, 90% of them are pretty much scams and will pump and dumps and probably never return to the highs, more than likely be delisted from all exchanges, never to return. And as a crypto investor and enthusiast, it can be quite hard to accept but if we're not being honest with ourselves about the altcoin market and the coins in the market, we won't survive very long in this game, I don't think. So do yourself a favour. You need to be reading the white papers, researching the team behind the project and putting in the time. That's going to give you the confidence to be able to buy when no one else wants to because you need to have confidence in your own investment. You, you can't be coming on YouTube and going on elsewhere and thinking, oh yeah, because they like it, I will like it. Because as soon as the price goes down or you see a percentage drawdown, you're going to panic and you're going to think, oh no, because you haven't done your own research. So that really leads into sort of like the next step, analysing the charts. So for me, when it comes to investing in altcoins, it makes sense to have a look at what the biggest altcoin of them all did in its past cycle, and that is Ethereum. So in Ethereum's first cycle, it actually dropped, as you can see here, 94% in the bear market. And even for a lot of new, exciting, fundamentally strong altcoins, we need to accept that they will most likely drop at least 90 to 95%, if not more. So zooming out and using negative Fibonacci's can give us a real idea of where might be the best time to begin to dollar cost average into an altcoin. But I will only personally buy an altcoin once it's dropped at least 90% because dollar cost averaging at the lows is a lot more beneficial than buying every single dip on the way down. If you've bought every dip on the way down, or every rally on, on the way down, by the time we reach the actual price where we get to the bottom, you need a massive retrace here to recorporate all them losses or drawdowns. Um, so you're more, more than likely going to give up. Well, the new people into the market more than likely will give up. So... You need to be really dollar cost averaging at the right levels. Um, and that means small retracements even to the upside can put you in a position where you're in an instant profit. And even if the retrace takes longer than we expect, let's say you think that's the bottom and the retrace thinks it takes longer than you expect and you come back up. Even then, you can mark this out as sort of like a monthly demand. We drop down and come back up and retest it anyway. Um, so really, if you are marking out weekly and monthly demand areas, more than likely, if you get below this monthly demand area, which it was, um, you're more than likely going to get a retest. So if you've got extra capital available by not buying every single dip on the way down, you can then utilize that extra capital in case you get an extra dip. So really, for me, that is the way I like to look at the market, especially the altcoin market. So to give you a better example of this, I've moved us over to the monthly time frame. Let's say back in 2018, you thought this demand zone right here for Ethereum was the bottom. And dollar cost averaging at that level would not have been so bad. Whereas the people that started buying every single dip on the way down, getting excited of the move up, this dip here, getting excited of this move up. By the time we got down here, they probably didn't want to. And then by the time we got the extra dip, they probably just gave up. And that's the psychology behind it. So having that extra capital available by not buying every single dip on the way down, it can then be utilized for the retracement back up that you're inevitably going to get. In all markets, we always get a retrace. Markets don't just go straight down and they don't just go straight up. The market always comes back. So having that level marked out, if you started dollar cost averaging here, you got the extra dip, the extra capital was utilized, then that put you even in a, a not only break even, but an instant profit to be able to take profits. Um, so that is a dollar cost averaging method the correct way, not buying every single dip on the way down. And that's the thing that you need to realize with the altcoin market. You can't be buying every single dip on the way down 
you need to wait until the narratives come around, come around where crypto's dead and it's 90 to 95 percent down really really great times in my opinion to start dollar costing dollar cost averaging into a project which leads me into sort of like my next my next point marking out your profit taking zones because for now this in, involves for me a simple trend lines fibonacci retraces and extensions so i'm going to show you my current h bar chart now which has all of this on that i've got planned out for the current moves up or down so you can get a better idea of what i'm doing in one of the coins and possibly maybe not financially advised <laughs> implement the same strategy on your chart so here we are and for example here on my h bar chart you can see clear buy zones and profit taking zones that i've marked out now this is going to remove any fear or excitement I feel in the market. As the market's moving, any direction, because the excitement and greed and fear is really what makes most people lose and not want to take profit and not want to buy. But having a plan of your buy zones and percentages that you're going to take out at each level really allows you to maintain focus and focusing on taking out your initial investment because that is ideally the main plan. You can get yourself into a position where you've taken out your initial investment and risk-free. Because once your initial investment is out, you simply are playing with money that you never had anywhere. Um, and that leads you to becoming less emotional, better decisions, and you're able to pounce on the fear in the market and sell into the excitement. So for me, the overall aim of the game is to get, your, get yourself into a position where you are profit flipping and never need to make an investment from your own cash ever again. Um, so for me, profit taking is the best hedge that you can make. And having these levels marked out well in advance, ready for the upside, ready for the downside, you are putting yourself in a position that not many people are in. So for me, let's say we don't get this retrace to the upside now for HBAR. I am well prepared for this to come down, use the extra capital that I've not, I've not been buying these dips all the way down. I've only been dollar cost averaging below six cents. So let's say we get this dip down to the two, two cents region yet it would be a percentage drawdown in the portfolio. But using the extra capital that we have available, that would more than likely come back up to this zone, as you can see here. Clear, clear zone that needs to be at least come down, retested, clear reactions. Like we saw with the H-bar chart, if this is not the bottom, no problem. We can simply add capital and play the retrace to the upside, putting us at more than break even and taking profit at these levels. So this is the idea. And you can implement this on any single coin that you want to, that you're planning on investing in or, or whatever. You really just want to be at least 90% down from the all-time highs to begin, in my opinion, dollar cost averaging. Of course, it's not financial advice. It's just my opinion. So just to prove that I'm not making these things up and I'm, I'm not just saying this in advance, now we are down here for HBAR. This is something that I put out on my Twitter a long time ago, back in July. Just outlining the monthly demand area incredible incredible opportunity long-term reaccumulation area that i'm looking at and really the first area of resistance and a no man's land that we was in um so being patient has allowed me to not buy all these tips on the way down and begin dollar cost averaging at these levels where the favor becomes into the buyer's favor rather than the seller's favor because any retrace puts you at an instant profit instant invest instant instant in <laughs> let me get them words out instant initial investment out plus profit putting you in that scenario that we need to aim to be in so once you have taken profit we're going to go back to the h bar chart now we're going to decide what percentage of that profit are we willing to reinvest now for me this is a very simple example on h bar you can see that the 30 percent profit that I, i'm willing to take out here i'm willing to reinvest 15 percent at the same levels that we are now meaning i'm going to be able to increase the amount of h bar that i've got risk-free and if we fall further, I don't really care. I'm not emotionally attached. However, if we, however, if we go back from that zone, the profit-taking strategy it can just begin to be implemented again. It's very simple, and it is playing both sides of the market. Yes, um, it, but that, that's what you really need to try and do because you can have your long-term holdings. I'm going to hold 20% for new all-time highs. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen because with these levels here, we can benefit from upside, downside, and new all-time highs. So it really just depends on your own risk tolerance because, of course, it can all go to zero. Um, but from 2020 to now, I've put myself in a situation where I am just profit flipping um, from the last cycle, which is where you really want to be. And it's why you'll notice I don't get too excited on moves up 
or too fearful on moves down because I have this planned out well in advance. So if you are new to crypto and you've made a few of them mistakes that I mentioned earlier, don't worry. We have all been there and done it. Learning some methods of market analysis can help, but trust me, the psychology is a lot, lot more important. So right now we are in a great situation, in my opinion. We're in a phase in the market where the bottom might be in, the bottom might not be in. It doesn't matter too much if it's not in because we have the extra capital available to play the retrace to the upside and benefit either way. So as everyone is scared and the crypto is dead narrative is here, that, in my opinion, is the perfect dollar cost average zone. I would call it so anyway. So, like I said, if the bottom's in, if it's close or if it's nowhere near, we have a clear plan so we can benefit either way. So, guys, mark your zones out. Have your buy zones. Have a plan. You don't want to just be winging it. But again, if you like this video, give it a like. Thanks for watching. Um, if you didn't like it, don't like it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section if you enjoy this style of video and this style of content. Subscribe if you want to see a bit more. Um, it's not financial advice, of course, but from me, stay patient, stay relaxed, and I'll see you next time.